Are we gonna survive today? Greetings and salutations, Ms. Mac Mafia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Last time we had a pretty peaceful experience chugging across the island. However, this time we see the spidery legend himself. Do we live? Do we die? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Let's not waste another second and jump right into Choo Choo Charles. I have the feeling we're about to have a bit of an, a bit of a, a fisticuffs with Charles. There's thunder, there's scary music. There's no way we're not about to run into Charles. Lucky for me, I'm fast as f boy. Charles. Hmm. No sign of the evil train just yet, boys. Are we timeless? Oh, oh, oh. Now we're gonna go backwards. Charles! What is that? I saw that! Let's go. Go, 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 go. Alright, we're pretty much good all the way until we get to our stop. Where is he? Where is he? I don't like this. I don't like this one, boys. But anyway. Is that him? Is that him? Is that it? Is that it? Is he coming? Am I dead? Where is he? Or is he pop up in front of us? I can hear something. Alright, we're nearing our destination. So it's just this house over here. I'm gonna head up the stairs. Charles can't get me up the stairs. Or can he? Hello, is anyone home? Oh, hello. Bold man. What is this note you're looking at? I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out that I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is, is that Mr. Warren Warlord III is trying to hatch and raise more of those eight-legged critters. A whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from a cave-in. We also know that they're as hard as diamonds. Completely indestructible. The miners spent months using the temple prism to suck energy out of all the eggs, but before they could destroy the last three, Old Man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are and rather than protect us from them, wants to use them to take over the world. I'm on to you, Warren. Greg, genius extraordinaire. Thanks for that insight. I'm taking it that you're Greg. I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Are you okay, Greg? Have you slept? Have you had a shower recently, Greg? Have we engaged in any self-care? Because... If I'm, if I'm smelling what I think I'm smelling, I'm smelling a little bit of B.O. and a little bit of... I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. N name's Greg, by the way. I take it you're Eugene's son. Hey, in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mind boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. Oh my god. Not one, not two, but three! We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. Good old Charles. Why are we, why are we bad mouthing him? Maybe he's just misunderstood. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles. So we, one, one of the eggs is, is in the north mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the How do these people just all have the key to these mine entrances? Oh, but there's also two NPCs we need to talk to on the way. Oh, yep, that makes sense. Normal people can't just jump off roofs, Ms. Mac. But yeah, sure, let's give our, our legs a test run, I guess. They also can't jump over railings like that, too. Fun fact. What's that? Oh, I feel like... I feel like Charles is watching me. 
I, I can't explain it. Like, I just feel like I have this feeling that I'm getting watched. Do you guys get that? Especially around that thing. I don't trust that thing. I also don't like how there aren't any, there are any doors. But let's stop right here. And let's look at some upgrades. We've got enough scraps to fix our train. All right, well, we might as well just use our scraps to fix our train. I wish we could just add some doors though. That would be nice. I'd feel a bit more protected if there were doors. All right, we're nearing the, the thing, the, that thing, the, the lever, the, the intersection. All right, here we go. Should be any second now. The train's just like the primary, like I have yet to see one single road. Charles, come here you raggedy ass bitch. I know you're there. I can smell your steam. Hmm? I wish you're a coal burning train. You're cutting the environment. No, because for real, I definitely feel like I'm being watched. Oh my god, we got ages to go. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep training, training, training. What do we do when we see a scary train? We shoot his brain with a scatterling gun. Who is he? You scared, Charles? Is that it? You got the old man and now all of a sudden you're not so much of a, a big guy anymore, huh? what I thought. Yeah, this is it. All right, so it looks like the mine is well into the woods. Let's scrap along the way. And in we go. I'm so terrified right now. Why am I hearing this music? This game has just proved the Loop that bitch! Stop right there. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, we did it. What is this? Who are you? More importantly, why are we unequipped? Like, we have a Gatling gun on the back of our train, but we, we don't have a, a gun to protect ourselves? From the scary men? Scrap. Love that for me. Big scary forest. Big scary train. Is that him? 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 Is he coming? He's coming. He's coming. Where is he? Hard. I'm gonna have to figure out something. It's nice to know though that if we ever encounter Charles, we'll hear his whistle. Oh, that means we gotta deal with that guy again. Oh, my train is dead. I don't even have any scraps. Oh my god, and the game is being is counting them as being picked up as well. Is that guy still here though? He's not. Okay, well that's good. At least he's not still here. So we've made some kind of progress then. We're gonna figure out how to get our hands on like lots of scrap. Hello, into the dungeon we go. Okay. And down we go into the depths of another dark mine. I'm getting the feeling I won't be able to so easily avoid this next guy.
Is this me or is, is it shaking? Oh, I'm terrified. Alright. Taking it through this big golf doorway. He's coming. What is this? Make sure nobody goes near the egg. If you see anyone that shouldn't be there, shoot them immediately. No risks can be taken. As soon as it finishes, kill it. Bring the body to me. Interesting. So clearly this guy wants these eggs. I'm feeling that Greg might actually be onto something. There's a door there. Go, 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 go. We did it, we did it, we're successful. in the comments because this train deserves a name you know it's been faithful to us it takes care of us it protects us it deserves a name all right here we go Aren arenarium is that not the building that guy mentioned before he died what is his name eugene <laughs> he only died like 40 minutes ago i don't even remember his name hello eugene's son Oh, hello. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna snatch up all the scrap in this building. Um, do you know how it is? Poopy train everywhere. I'm sure I don't need to tell you. Oh, 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 what is this? A church? Mutiny meeting note. Mutiny meeting notes. Yes, because if you plan a mutiny, always write everything down in case someone doesn't find it. I have discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and nobody had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set the track's directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days at which we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh actions against Warren and the other miners but he's twisted our arms far too long. Charles needs to go and Warren won't stand in our way. Interesting. Look at that. Even the chairs have cool little little detailing on them. I love that with them. Let's go talk to this guy who's... Oh, there's another one. Stake out some really day three, location four. I've been staking out this area for days and Charles has never crossed the old wood bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry and desperate, he might just chase someone across it. Then bam! We use John's bombs to blow the whole thing up and Charles falls face first into the canyon. And if the blast doesn't kill him, the fall surely will. So it seems like this guy's got a bit of a plan on how Charles can be defeated. Hello, sir. You're the archivist my father told me about. Is that my job? I'm an archivist? I feel like I'm a bit out of my depth. Although, I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Yeah, he stayed there, all right. Silly Eugene, always staying places alive and stuff. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. We can always 
Tell him how we feel later. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could lead to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, we've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Oh, interesting. Okay, interesting. So not sending me off to another mine. Although, in all fairness, how many how many do I have now? Got the blue egg, the, the green egg. So this one has to be either yellow or red, right? Okay, interesting. So yeah, I would say that we've almost completed this game because we nearly have all three eggs. I'm gonna set this trap up apparently. Yeah, I feel like other than this trap in this last egg, we're not that far off. We could walk there. Should we take our train there anyway, just in case? Maybe it's safe to just take the train anyway. Let's go backwards. Beep, 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 beep. Bombs place. So it's gonna be down here. Alright, one there. One there. Make sure we get one on there. there. Oh, oh, there's one for each support pillar. Easy as pie. Awesome. No sign of Charles either. This is actually going pretty smoothly, all things considered. Our train's going a bit crazy. I had to make sure I breaks. Uh, one time when I was snowboarding, I like went down this mountain and I got to the end. And when you get to the end, you're supposed to just like disconnect your snowboard and like carry it to the, the ski lift. And then you like put it back on as you're getting on the, spe the ski lift. And so anyway, I go to take my snowboard off and I'm holding it. I let go for a second just to help unbuckle my other boot. When all of a sudden the snowboard completely just unbuckles and it just goes whoosh down the mountain. So here I am. I was about maybe like 14 at the time. So here's tiny little me chasing after this snowboard as it's going like down the mountain about to hit people. And they caught it and they were like, some like instructor caught it and he was like, you know, this is dangerous, right? I was like, Oh, really? Obviously, I didn't actually say that to him. I was very apologetic. But. <laughs> That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Gotcha. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Oh. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. We got one more egg to get. Okay. Yeah, we still got one more egg to get before we can do that. But saying that, I think this is a good note to end the video. Um, I'll be continuing this on the days I would typically do Ms. Mac Madness. So there won't be a Ms. Mac Madness next week or given how long this recording is, it might be for a couple weeks. If you want to see more of my train adventures, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. And yeah, if you guys have any ideas for what we should name our little yellow happy machine here, uh, let me know down in the comments because I feel like I feel like this train deserves a proper name. You know, I feel like given the fact that it's, it's one job is to protect us, she needs a name. And yeah, until next time, I'll see ya. Bye-bye.